Hi, I'm Neil from Wild Elements and I'm working in collaboration with the National Botanic Gardens of Wales to introduce you to permaculture. Permaculture is a design system that was initially developed to create sustainable agricultural systems. However, this design tool is now utilised worldwide to design homes, financial systems, businesses, social groups and education. The National Botanical Gardens have been supporting a project called Growing the Future, a five-year project to champion Welsh horticulture, plants for pollinators, the protection of wildlife and the virtues of growing plants for food, fun, health and well-being. Here at Wild Elements, we thought it would be an excellent opportunity to combine our knowledge of permaculture and link it with growing plants for the future. Permaculture is structured around three ethical principles that form the basis of decision making. The first ethic we're going to talk about today is earth care. When we are planning a place to grow plants, it's important that we work in harmony with nature. This means that we can limit the negative impact and maximise the positive impact of our growing space on the environment and people. Questions that we could ask ourselves when planning could include how can materials for the garden be sourced locally? Can items destined for landfill be recycled? Can organic plants or seeds be sourced? How can I plan my growing space so that a low amount of time and energy is required to grow, maintain and harvest the plants? This planning stage is a wonderful opportunity for children to be involved by showing children how to design systems while looking after the earth is an important influence for the designers of the future. The second ethic is people care. In the midst of this pandemic, the importance of people care has become even more apparent. Permaculture designs incorporate people taking care of themselves and others within the community. This focus on well-being helps us to cooperate with others, to show empathy and to ensure inclusion for all. As we design our growing space, reflection on how can my and others' health be improved through growing plants? Have I got suitable clothing to wear to keep me safe and warm while tending my plants? If I'm growing with others, how can I ensure everyone's voice is heard? Perhaps you were planning your growing space with your family. It's important that each member has a voice. Using this approach ensures that the future generations are given the opportunity to see how important caring for each other is. The third ethic is fair share. This is about striving towards equality between people and the other life on our planet. In science lessons, we look often at the ethical dilemma, just because we can, should we? In permaculture, we strive to take just as much as we need and redistribute the surplus to others. This way of thinking is very different to how many of us live our daily lives. By focusing upon this new way of thinking, we can design new habits into our lives. When planning a growing space, we can promote sharing of time, resources and excess produce. We can teach our children to reflect on the needs of others through simple additions to your growing space, uh, such as bug hotels, planting plants specifically for pollinators and sharing surplus crops with friends or family. By spending time growing plants or food for fun, you will be observing patterns in the natural world. The greater our understanding of these patterns, the better we can protect them. The practical aspect of growing will help us to keep fit and improve our well-being. By growing even the smallest of seeds, you create that sense of wonder that evokes joy, respect and gratitude. By planning your growing space, by following permaculture ethics, you will be using skills such as logical thinking, learning new vocabulary and forging new and deeper links with others. In our next video linking permaculture with growing the future, we will be delving deeper into the 12 principles that guide us through the design process. By following these principles, we hope to save you time, energy and money. We're going to take a look at soil and how simple tests can help us to improve the soil. So we look forward to seeing you then.